Alright guys, well this morning we're heading off to Oshkosh. Uh, didn't get up and going super early this morning, left around uh, maybe a little after 7. Anyway, we're going to be taking out the long rod today, um, at least to start with. I, I don't know for sure that I'll do that all day, but I think we'll be doing the long rod for mainly bluegills in the morning. Uh, mixed in with a couple perch and crappies, hopefully. If that doesn't work, we might uh, slip on with some deeper water for some perch, but I'm hoping we can get some good action, get a good video with the bluegill. Uh, weather looking coming up is not looking great for spearing, which is pretty sad. Uh, I mean, I think we'll get out second or third weekend. I've been kind of holding out hope we'd at least get out in the wheelers, but I mean, if it's going to be 50 degrees two days before, it's going to be tough to even get everything set up because you're not even going to know what the ice is going to be like the next day. So um, that's kind of sucks, but anyway, that's where we're at right now. It's February 1st, and I'm heading out to Lake Winnebago. So we're going to do some ice fishing today and hopefully as long as the ice is good today, that's all we can really worry about. So anyway, we're heading out now and we'll see you when we get out there. Well, just got to the spot here on the west side. Um, definitely a couple more people than I imagined, but it's kind of... or more people than I expected for it being a weekday, but it's kind of close quarters fishing as long as everyone understands that it's usually not an issue. You know, it's kind of like the pier. Everyone understands where the fish are, and as long as everyone's respectful of that and everyone fishes the same water, you know, it usually works all right, but um, there should be plenty of room for us to get in there and fish, but like I said, there's just kind of a little more people than I expected it for being a weekday, but that's fine. Anyway, it's enough talking. Let's get out there and get some fish. All right, we're just getting out to the spot now. As you can see, I've got my long rod. This is really nice in the shallow water. I'm only fishing about three or four feet. we we'll be starting off with a really, just a little diamond head, a little orange diamond head. I like the color orange for perch. Uh, I'm seeing some guys get some as I'm walking out here, so it's looking like it should be a pretty good day. They keep 10 or 12 of them, that way I can fish all day if I want. I don't have to stop when I get my limit, so if I can start with one spike, I like doing just one spike or one wax worm or one little piece of trout worm. Um, I think it gives it better action, it looks more natural. When you have one on there, when you have a couple on there, I don't think they move around and wiggle as much. So we we'll start out with orange diamond head, one spike, about three, four feet of water, and we'll see what we can do. on that one. Don't try and pull the big ones out of the hole. I know that. I was just getting lazy. Damn it. I'm not going to make the same mistake on this guy. The huh? perch is over eight. Well... Not quite. Well, I have no idea what's wrong with that perch, but... All right, I'm gonna explain a little bit of what I'm doing here. Uh, first off, I'm in about three feet of water, three to four. So I think it's really, really key that you try and stay quiet, stay silent. I creep up to the holes almost like I'm hunting um, because I mean, those fish here, every footstep, if you're yelling around, running around, banging on stuff, they're gonna scatter. So I stay, like to stay pretty quiet. I creep up on the hole. Second thing is, is I got the wind in my back right now. So naturally you're probably always gonna put the wind to your back, but make sure your line is always protected from the wind with your body because I mean the wind is just in my back right now but my line does not protect it so make sure your line is always protected because I got a really light bait on right now 
Odds are if you were fishing, you would too. Well, the light bait and the light line, if I let the wind hit it, it puts a lot of slack in my line. And you don't really see your fish biting because, I mean, you're jigging way up here, so you got a lot of line exposed as opposed to when you're jigging with a shorter rod and a Vexilar, you're probably jigging right here. So protect yourself, protect the line from the wind. The other thing is, is oftentimes you drop it down to the bottom, which is right here, and then you jig up and that's how they hit it. But that's two times I've been out here on Winnebago. So I got my got my bait here. Get it in the hole. Well I start working that bait as soon as I get it below the ice. So I start jigging and the cadence that's been working, it's been jig, move it down six inches, hold it still and jig pause. Jig, move it down six inches, hold it still in jig, and then pause. And then you just do that all the way down to the bottom. And if the, you know, there's three, three to four feet of water with weeds. If they're not seeing your bait from a really long way away. So I pretty much, I start working that bait as soon as I get it below the ice. And by the time I hit the bottom, I pull up and move to the next hole. A fresh hole is always a better hole. So I'm constantly moving around. And probably, I have no idea. I don't have a Fitbit, but I'd imagine I got quite a few steps in today. Just going from hole to hole to hole. So I don't give it too long. I start working that bait as soon as I get it below the ice. On the drop, they don't hit it. Boom, I'm on to the next hole. But that's what we're doing. Just been poking around, working around with the long rod. Long rod's really nice. You don't have to reset your line every time you just get to fight them with the rod and obviously if you do get a bigger fish on you still got you know a spool of line to work with them so that's what we're doing today and hopefully we can get a couple more the auto's going off over here I'm catching a bluegill somewhere else Just a little guy, shoot. Oh, I think we'll get him. He'll be alright. Yeah, he'll be just fine. Biggest one of the day. Oof, I might have just topped it. My reel got all jammed up here. Probably should get a new reel for this rod. But I couldn't reel and I gave him a little slack and he popped off in the hole. But we got him out. <laughs> First crop of the day. Nice fish on here. Shoot. 
<laughs> and that's why you put minnows out. Probably coming up, that might be the last one I keep. 